Good morning, friends, and welcome to the pre-market view. Friends, uh, globally, the sentiment is clouded by the uh, slowdown concerns, as well as slew of uh, negative uh, news on the rating front. Uh, and on the back of that, we had seen uh, some weakness in the U.S. markets, and Dow registered a triple-digit uh, uh, negative tick. And uh, the same is the case uh, with uh, European markets; they were also down anywhere from 0.5 percent to almost 0.75 percent. as uh, the snp has downgraded the spain's uh, economy and now the rating stands at just one notch above the junk rate so which is definitely a matter of concern and the entire focus is on when officially the spain is likely to uh, go for a bailout uh, also friends when we look at the asian markets uh, most of them are down anywhere from about 0.3% to almost 1.5% and the data today morning that came out from japan on the core machinery front also registered a negative growth of 3.3% so overall we are seeing in the last about 2 weeks that most of the data that is coming out uh, have been registering negative growth uh, and which is definitely uh, affecting the market sentiment broadly uh, in terms of flows friends yesterday fis were net buyers to the tune of about 434 odd crore and the domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of 1630 odd crore so we continue to see that uh, you know number uh, somewhere in the range of about 400 to 500 crore by the fis uh, where there is a net plus and the domestic institutions continue to sell for the past almost 2 to 3 weeks of the similar or slightly higher number back home friends uh, things continue to look a little weak after a very strong move that we saw over the last 2 weeks uh, which is mainly driven by the political statements as well as the warning from the snp wherein uh, they have said that uh, if uh, some of the reforms which have been announced recently if there is no implementation at the ground level then uh, there could be a possibility of a downgrade also in case of insurance and pension reforms looking at the current political scenario it may not be easy for the government to go ahead and implement those reforms so this is something which definitely has affected the sentiment uh, to a great extent on that note let me invite nandish to take us through important fnqs and the ideas and strategies that we could look at in the current scenario good morning friends uh, what we have seen in the yesterday's trade was no uh, we have seen that no market opening on a negative note no ahead of the taking cues from the uh, global markets now the, there was a negative trigger by the of the sentiments by the snp that you know, they announced that you know, they might downgrade uh, indian rating and you now that was the reason we have seen a sharp sell of around 50 to 55 points now on the data side we have seen that you no know, pcr ratio which was hovering around 1.2 1.4 has slipped below 1 which is a negative sign but on the lower side we have seen that around no 6 lakh shares 6 and 1/2 lakh shares were reduced in open interest with a marginal increase in the cost of care indicating that no some short positions were covered at the lower level so no that might act as a positive sentiment and invite we might see a technical bounce back from the current levels now on the uh, option side you know we have seen that the majority of the addition was seen on the call side you no know, aggressive writing is taking place on the call side 5700 5800 other strikes where we have seen a maximum writing taking place and at the same time the put option has seen some unwinding now on the addition front we have seen that 5500 and 5400 were the only strike where we have seen some you no know, good amount of addition taking place so uh, what we conclude out of this then you know, 5600 for a time being will remain as a very good support as we have seen that you no know, multiple resistance was there in the past months you no know, market was facing resistance to cross uh, and sustain about 5600 levels now finally market has surpassed those levels so technically also we think that you no know, 5600 will act as a very good support for a short term unless and until we are holding this levels what i think that you no know, market will trade in the range 5600 5620 on a lower side and on a higher side again we re- might reach as the level of 5750 5, 5800 levels on the stock specific front uh, what uh, we think that itc is looking positive one can place a stop loss of around 277.65 dish tv is looking negative one can sell for intra at the current levels no uh, stop loss can be placed at 81.90 and for a positional basis uh, yesterday we have recommended a 230 call or a 230 put option of bail uh, the position is still open uh, and another call which we have recommended yesterday is titan one can buy titan 280 call option uh, with a stop loss of 2.4 uh, 2.50 and on a higher side 7 to 9 rupees can be targeted that's all friend thank you friends back home uh, here are the news that we are tracking first of all a uh, cabinet meeting is lined up today at 11 uh, am to consider a direct subsidy by transferring rupees 50 per ton to the retailers of fertilizer 
and this could have positive implications for companies in the retail fertilizer business. So companies like Chambal Fertilizer and RCF uh, could have positive implications uh, in case the cabinet goes ahead and implements uh, these recommendations. Other thing is that friends recently Siam has cut uh, the overall automobile uh, guidance or growth forecast for FY13. So for the domestic car sales uh, they have reduced it uh, to 1 to 3 percent from the 9 percent number earlier. Similarly for two wheelers the same has been cut to 5 to 7 percent as against about 11 to 13 percent and in case of commercial vehicles it's been reduced to 3 to 5 percent from 6 to 8 percent. This definitely has come as a you know bit of a jolt particularly for the cars and the CVs and uh, this could have some negative implications for companies like uh, Maruti and uh, to some extent even Tata Motors and Mahindra and Mahindra. Uh, friends, GVK Power has got the final go ahead from the Australian authorities for the development of Terminal 3 uh, which was uh, pending for a long time. So uh, this could have positive uh, implications for GVK Power. One can go long then with a stop loss of 13.40 and a target of about 14.10 to 14.40. And friends, today morning the news uh, is that the Unitech and uh, the uh, uh, Uninor, that controversy which was going on for a while, finally there is a settlement. Uh, so that could be some positive implications in today's market uh, for Unitech. So one can go long there with a stop loss of 22.69 and a target of about 24 to 24.5. And the union government is considering divestment of Hindustan copper through the auction route. Uh, remember, uh, the government of India is holding almost 99.49% of the stake in Hindustan copper. And uh, because of that, one can go long there with a stop loss of 255 and a target of about 269 to 274. Friends, Karnataka Bank uh, is showing a lot of strength in the market and the buzz is that it is a potential candidate for the MNDA particularly uh, because of the uh, relaxation of the uh, banking uh, license norms that the finance ministry is considering. And uh, basically uh, ICICI Bank or Kotak Bank could be the potential uh, contender for this bank and the book value of the bank is somewhere around 130 rupees. So in case the deal goes through there could be a substantial upside uh, for Karnataka Bank. So one can go long on Karnataka Bank with a stop loss of 114 and a target of about uh, 119 to 122 and uh, because of this sharp movement that we have seen in the United Spirit stock over the last about one and a half months from 950 to almost uh, about uh, 1250 1300 levels the SEBI is examining the possibility of insider trading because of the unusual price movement and huge volumes which have been registered in the stock so this could be a bit negative for United Spirits one can go short there with a stop loss of 12.88 and a target of about 12.25 to about 11.90.98. And the bondholders of Suzuan Energy have refused uh, the possibility of extension of the FCCBs. So this could be a negative for Suzuan and can go short there with a stop loss of 16.90 and a target of about 16 to 15.70. And friends, today Syntax is uh, going to come out with the numbers and uh, what uh, we are tracking here is that the on the top line growth there could be a quarter on quarter uh, negative growth of 3.8 percent and YOY negative growth of 10 percent <coughs> and at the bottom line level we are looking at a number of 71.7 crore which would register about uh, 85 percent growth on a YOY basis. So these are the numbers that uh, we have uh, in terms of syntax. That's it from all of us friends. Have a great trading session and see you tomorrow at the same time.